What are you doing back in there? Oh, I see. surges surges at both slow speed and high speed operation we obviously have a fuel delivery problem going on here let's check it out so the engine was warmed up and it was still surging. Uh, I could tell that the throttle mechanism was working correctly because we had slow speed operation down here with the turtle and high speed operation and it started to choke out when I moved it up here to the choke position. But we definitely have some obstructions uh, in the carburetor, possibly moisture. Uh, let's see if we can go about this uh, the easiest way possible. And here's the carburetor down here on this side. Pretty easy to get to the float bowl, that's nice. I think maybe we'll move it inside here to get it out of the snow. Your slow speed jet is pretty easy to get to on this carburetor. Um, I think I'm going to address that first. We can actually remove it and clean it. I'm going to spray some carburetor cleaner in here to clean out the area. So you see that screw there, that plastic screw, that is your idle adjustment screw. So that uh, determines how fast it idles. So you'll want to take that out. And this little black plastic piece here is actually your slow jet. Or you can call it your pilot jet or your idle jet, whatever you want to call it. You can see to remove it, you just stick a little screwdriver in there and bop it up. Be careful though, it's made out of plastic and you can break it. Maybe I'll get two screwdrivers and pry up at the same time. Let's try this here. That seemed to work. All right. So on this Honda carburetor, this is your pilot jet or your slow speed jet or your idle jet, whatever you want to call it. You have a hole going through it there and then a very, very tiny one down through the end here. And that's what gets plugged. Man, it took a while to get in there. I think there was a piece of plastic blocking it. I don't know if you could see that, but the wire's going the wire's going all the way through now, so that's what we want. We want to make sure that that jet's cleaned out. I'm going to blow a little air down in here. I will also put a little bit of lubricant on the end of this. As you can see, there's an O-ring on there, so we want it to slide in easy. So you see it's shaped like this, so you want the flat sides, um, either flat side to go up against uh, the carburetor body. I'll show you. And it goes in, there's flat sides on it, and the flat side goes towards the back or the front. flat side facing out, push it all the way into place, and you can feel it when it uh, seats the O-ring. As far as putting, um, you want to put your idle adjustment back in. Once you get it started, um, well, you want to screw it in. Try to get it. 
try to get it as close to where it was, you can adjust it once the mower is running. Alright, let's see if that solved anything. Choke on. Looks like that fixed it. I knew there was a problem with the slow speed system because uh, when I tried to run it at low RPMs it was surging so that's where I started and it looks like that solved the problem. And I think I'm going to go ahead and clean out the fuel system too just to uh, make sure everything's good. Make sure there's nothing in the gas tank. Let's turn off the fuel line. Grab a rag and my 10 milliliter here take off the float bowl. See what it looks like in there. Looks like the gasket stayed on up here. That's good. Sometimes the gasket comes off with the uh, float bowl. And you can see the bolt that holds it on has a gasket too, you want to be careful not to lose. And there's really not much sediment in there at all. I see a couple of specks I'll clean out. There's no real easy way to drain this gas tank, um, but I have this little pump here I'm going to use because I do want to drain it. Hopefully I can get it working here. I think I'll get the rest of it. Some paper towels here. So to clean out the fuel line, um, I'm going to turn the valve back on. And make a suction with my hand over here. We got some gas coming out there. Don't make too much of a suction because you can blow out your gas tank seals. Just enough so you're getting a little bit of back pressure and that blows the gas out of the carburetor and the fuel line. The gas tank's been sitting out in the sun for a few hours. Now. Pretty sure we're all dried out. I've cleaned out the float bowl. So we're ready to put this back on. Make sure you have the float bowl on all the way, nice and even before you tighten it down. So if just cleaning out that slow jet didn't help, I would have had to have taken off the, uh, the whole carburetor and then cleaned out the main jet system uh, as well. Uh, but luckily, we zeroed right in on the problem and that took care of it. 
the slow speed system actually works with the high speed system um, when you're running under high RPMs you're running fuel through the main jet circuits as well as the slow speed circuit when you're running on low RPMs you're only running gas through the slow speed uh, jets the slow speed circuits but as soon as you rev it up that main jet comes into play now that I know that the gas tank is thoroughly dried out I blew some blew some air down in here so we're good to go Hopefully this thing still runs good after doing that. But that's how you clean out a fuel system, folks. Like I say, sometimes you have to take the carburetor apart more uh, if it's more plugged, but that little trick did the, did the trick. Oh, yeah.